Hello and welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a little bit of a recap on the Time More Chestnut C2 grinder. Now, um, at the time of filming, this is the most up-to-date grinder available. And there have been a couple of changes that Time More have made um, since our last video. So yeah, I want to do a little bit of an unboxing, talk about what's different, what's new, and uh, just run through um, almost like a recap of this grinder for 2022. So yeah, welcome back. If you haven't watched any of our videos before, my name's Liam from Basic Brewster. We sell coffee gear online. And yeah, if you enjoy this video, um, check out some of our others. All right, let's get into it. So first of all, the box is very similar, if not exactly the same. It's just got branding on the outside, the exterior. Um, it's made from the same material and uh, as all of their products, or most of their products. And yeah, we've got a little QR code on the side here, which will let you scan and um, get some more details on this product. So it just folds open like that, and we've got a, just pop all of this to the side. We've got the handle, the crank, the lid, and the knob. So this is actually the exact same. We've got the um, plastic components here and here, and the stainless steel crank. Followed by the grinder itself. Um, so we've got the same um, machined outer body. Um, it also has the logo. Um, just on the back of the grinds catch and um, Yeah, we've got some updated inner workings, which we'll get to shortly So yeah, we've also got the grinds brush awesome little brush for um, Cleaning your grinder this grinder or any other grinder you've got Got one of those little um, silicon bags just to keep the moisture out We've got a drawstring bag um, one of the things about the drawstring drawstring bag is that it actually has a pocket um, so that makes it super easy to separate your grinder and your um, grinder crank slash handle so yeah that's an awesome addition um, we've got some certification um, just so you know it's legit uh, like a warranty card at the back here and um, some grinder instructions so yeah so yeah straight out of the box that's it you um, for a budget entry level grinder it's pretty awesome the amount of uh, accessories and features that this guy has so comes with the brush comes with the drawstring bag and it has some awesome features built into this guy that we're going to talk about now so one thing that you find on this grinder that you also find on uh, professional hand grinders is it's super smooth. It's got dual bearings inside, which mean that the two uh, points on the axle um, stabilize it and you can actually just roll it around like this. So yeah, awesome feature. It's grippy on the exterior. It's uh, actually being like machined into this casing. So yeah, pretty cool to see. So with the base, uh, you've got 25 grams capacity, um, which is heaps for coffee brewing. Um, if you're just doing one to two cups, it's got the same exterior design that carries through the whole exterior of this grinder. And um, yeah, it's a pretty solid piece. You can use this to dose um, and grind directly into. You can also, if you're traveling, you can dose up beforehand, put your single dose of coffee, screw it in just as your whole beans, screw it into the base here, and then once you've, uh, you can go take it out. When you're ready to grind, you can simply take it out, put your coffee in, screw it back on, and grind through, and that will work a charm. Okay, so moving on, I want to show you guys um, one of the newer additions to this grinder. So um, previously it had a plastic grind adjustment and a grind dial. So now you've got a aluminum metal um, little clicker piece here and the adjustment piece. So I'll take it apart and show you how that is kind of fitted. But yeah, as you can hear, just the clanks. It's solid. Um, once you make a click, you, uh, so once you make a grind adjustment, 
it really does feel like it's set in that place, which is an awesome addition, I think. And it's not at any additional cost either. It's still at the exact same price as the previous model. So yeah, this piece just completely screws out, just like the older model, followed by the grinds uh, set, the grind dial, and then the burr set itself. Now, this burr set is the same burr set that's found on the Slim and the G1, I believe, for Time War. It's the stainless steel and um, yeah, it's also the same burr set that's found on the Varia Coffee Brewing Scales as well. After the burr set, we've got a spring and a washer as well. Now the washer has now the washer has um, a little raised edge on both sides, so it's it's uh, reversible. It doesn't matter at what side uh, you're replacing it. Now this axle piece, it does come out completely. I find it's easiest just to guide it with one finger, being careful because you've got the burr set in there, which is sharp, and just pushing it out like that and holding it with the and holding it together in place with the handle makes it a lot easier to remove this guy and that piece just falls out so yeah as you can see it's super simple to actually go ahead and clean um, and uh, yeah you can get right in there with the uh, brush that's included so as far as upgrades or modifications go there really isn't um, a whole lot to it Mainly, you've just got this um, grind piece, which is now metal. Um, and I think that when you're using it, you'll notice the difference. It really does have, if you've used the previous one, it was a little bit clinky, um, just because it was uh, made from a plastic material rather than the solid metal material. Um, and yeah, just quickly to reassemble, you just put it in place and start screwing it uh, finer. And that's on tight like that. Um, so yeah, to set the grinder up, ready to grind some coffee, you want to go all the way fine until you feel it stop. Just like that. So as you can see, the burrs are now clicked together and this, uh, this handle isn't moving. So from here, this is your zero position. So anything further, it counts as a click. And as you can see, this handle has given way. So yeah, we've got the zero point, the handle doesn't move, and then we come back and we've got the first click and that handle moves. So we're gonna back off, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're on our 10th click and we're good to grind. So yeah guys, that's been the Time War C2 grinder. Um, it was just a quick little recap um, of what's new. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, if you have any questions about grinding, grind size and all of that, we've got heaps of resources on our website. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll leave it there and have a great day. Happy brewing.